Hello, hello, hello. I'm here, I'm here. Oh, it looks like I need to brighten up the picture just a little bit here. So let's take the... Contrast. Um, now I've got a. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to move the camera. Hold on. <sighs> Gotta get this ring light fixed a little, angled a little better. I don't know what that. I'm not sure what's causing that. No, that's not what's causing. Oh, well, maybe it's just the. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, I think it's my camera with my light. Okay. So, hello, Judy, Paduty. Hello, Dar. Hello, Mindy. Hello, CB. Hi, Lori, Holly. <coughs> <coughs> so, welcome to Music Scrap, the musical scrapper. It's a dull, boring day here on the east coast of, no, I shouldn't say boring day, but drab, you know what I mean, outside. I don't mean. Dull, drab day here on the east coast of Canada. Got some, uh, when I went to Walmart the other day, they had my French Finale Cappuccino for, by Mills Brothers that I like. They have one that's low sugar, so I got three containers of it while I was there because last couple of times they did it all, so. Yep. So, hello, Denise, nice to see you. Oh, well, my, my blinds are always closed, but no, we didn't have any sun today. Overcast, and at least it's not freezing. I think it was raining at one point. But we're supposed to have another flash freeze tomorrow night, so who knows? Judy, Juju, hello, hello, welcome. All right, I'm going to get started. Still waiting for a few to come. I know that Jenna often, oh, just be thankful that we don't have smell of vision, you guys, because I'm, go I put off my shower until after my stream so that I wouldn't be late because I procrastinated too much after Dee Dee's stream. <sighs> Last week took a lot out of me, that reaction to, I'm assuming that's what it was, MSG. I gave away the rest of my leftovers of, uh, Chinese food since I suddenly seem to be uh, sensitive to it. Hey, Vaughn. All right. So today I'm going to try my hand again at transfers using the jelly plate. Norma's so good at them, she should be doing this tutorial. The trick is to find uh, the happy mix. I've had a couple of ones that have turned out pretty good in the past, but then some others that don't. So I know that the trick is, number one, to be careful not to use too much black on your first layer. Because if it's too thick, it doesn't draw the pigment out of your paper. Okay? Or it doesn't resist as well. Um, I know that the other trick is a type of magazine. In other words, the um, the way the ink is laid down in the printing process makes a difference for this to work as well. Now, Linda White Holloway, LWH from Mars, 
um, on Facebook and Twitter, I believe. She's had some great success with some transfers as well. So these are the magazines I have. I have a couple of popular, uh, a popular photography one. These are ones that I found a while ago at um, the um, Salvation Army secondhand store. Then uh, this is a popular photo photography this is canadian geographic so that has some awesome pictures hey 1973 marie and then i have national geographic so i don't know if this one works at all Ooh, i should try that throw Following the tracks of a different man throw this came from my cousin's father's stash and he knew Thoreau was in this so he has it to keep he wanted to keep it do not throw it out but anyway it came to me there's lots of cool space ones uh the space which one was it the car space shuttle finally flies this is march 1981 so Thin with high contrast. Okay, thanks, Norma. There's Norma, by the way. Hey, Kathy. Thin with high contrast. Okay, so we'll see what we get. I had to, let me tell you, my hand started off a little, starting off a little dirty because this jelly plate, now there's still some, some paint on it. Some of that's on the other side because I didn't clean both sides yet. So most of this side is cleaned off. And then I rinsed it off with water so the alcohol won't break down the... Yes, she means thin paper. Have you done... Um, hey, Kimberly, Norma, have you done Neo um, National Geographic? Do they work? Hey, Eileen. <coughs> Hey, Mandy. <clears throat> so first I'm going to go through and find some images. Kiwi smile in Canada. I do have scissors, but I think what I'm going to do with this is just use a ruler. Just remember, whatever you do is going to end up. Hey, Lena. Nat Geo works sometimes. Okay, we'll try. We'll see what we can get. All right. Now, that doesn't have high contrast, but, man, it would be cool if I could get those trees. I'm going to try this page. Only paint, right? That would be cool to get. Hey, Teresa. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Beth. Hey, Gail. I'm just looking for some photos. This has some light down below light above and some good darks so this should be this might work i'm just going through to find some images that we we're going to try doing the transfer technique oops okay no worries no worries sophia Work along, and that's what we're here for. Company while you work. Oops. 
Liquor on the feet, liquor on the feet. Okay. Now this has a cool totem pole. Oh, I'm getting my scissors. Forget this hole. I just cut straighter with a fussy tear than I do with my scissors. I'm so bad at cutting with scissors. It's not funny. So the high contrast of the trees versus the totem pole should kind of make that totem poles. The totem pole is going to stay the color of the paper, right? And then the green should become black. Trees. Not enough contrast in that one, I don't think. Now, the same thing with this one. With this one, the dark trees surrounding him. I'm going to try him. That would be cool if I could get him transferred. He might be light enough against the dark trees to work. Oh, there's a frog climbing a building. That's unusual. Hey, Joycey. It's best if it's high gloss. Okay, well, this is a nice gloss. I wouldn't say it's high gloss, but it is a nice gloss. There's people walking. I do have a face down here from another book that's really cool. Oh, I wonder if he has enough contrast. How cool is he? An indigenous person? Not sure if he's high contrast enough, but. Okay, Joy, see that's how it's supposed to go. Oh, look, Moncton. The hub of the Maritimes is well on the road to Renaissance. Welcome to Moncton. Population 80,000. Well, this must be a while ago. Because we're at, uh, what year is this? 19, I can't see the date. 1986 or 90. Hold on. I need to get my, uh, we're at 88,000 now. Eight Moncton's at 88. Oh, ah, my phone's completely dead. One moment. I need to plug it in here. I'll keep going. I'll look up the date in a second. Anyway, that's Moncton. There's the city of Moncton. There's that's this is called the this is where this is called the Chocolate River because it's it's a tidal river that comes in from the Bay of Fundy and it has uh, the tidal bore and it brings in sand and mud from the there. So you can see here. That's water. It brings in mud and silt from the Bay of Fundy. Woo! Okay, so this guy on the phone, I think he might turn out okay. We'll see. That's cool seeing Moncton in uh, 
a photography magazine like this. Moncton's here and Riverview's here. See, so I'm on one side of the river. I live right here down by the river, right here. Look out my back door and I see that river. That's cool. Anyway, whatever. Ew, look at that. Look at that boat. I don't think there's enough contrast there, though. All right. I have this face. I have this one. I am absolutely not a fan of fashion magazines. I dislike models. They give a very bad idea of what real women look like. So it really, I don't like it. Oh, really? Wow. <laughs> Look at the hair on those two. Oh, Lord. And the makeup. Ew. They call that fashion. Looks like. Ew. This one almost looks like a young Nancy Grace. The face. You ignore the hair. <clears throat> I don't know how many faces I want because I don't really use faces a lot in my art. But anyway, we'll see. <clears throat> okay, put that left over there. Oh, the date might be easier. March? Yeah, 1986. I was going to say, I knew it had to be old because <clears throat> Moncton's like 88,000 just in Moncton now. And then Riverview's at, what, 13,000? And Dieppe is at 20,000 or something. We're up over 100,000 with the three. Okay. Sorry. All right. Let's see what we have in this Nat Geo. Those books would be cool. I wonder if there's enough contrast. We're going to try it because I like that. I don't know how many of these we're going to get done, but I'm just going to go through a few and pick out some cool things. Where's the row? I don't I want that throw picture. I want to do thorough. He almost looks, I thought he was Ab Abraham Lincoln at first, but. Where is he? There he is. I want to try thorough. I'm going to turn it this way so I can get a good, so I don't want to mess up the. I'm going to try and break the spine here. So I, because I'd like to get the oval if I can. And part of the oval is going into the binding. So I'm going to try and.
you watch. It's going to break right up until the spot where I need it to. Oh, of course not. All right, let's just try and do the best. I can. I know it's going to rip into the... Oh, well. And, of course, it did. Oh, well. Oh, I'm not paying attention. I'm sorry. I'm looking at my pictures. <clears throat> yes, I did. Off this one side, anyway. What, 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 Joycey, say it again. Those drippy balls. Oh. You like the drippy lipstick balls? I can put them, in, I can put it in your pile with your Yoda. She likes the drippy. These? Or these? She likes that. All right, JC. I will take that and put it in your pile. Okay. There, Joycey. It's yours. It's yours. Oh, look at him. Look at that little guy. Poor thing in a cage. Ooh. All right, let's see what these, no point in getting any more than I think I'm going to even be able to. All right, so I want to try Thoreau first. So, since I messed up the outline, I may as well totally mess it up. And... Kind of cut an oval inside the oval frame so I can maybe still get an oval, but okay. All right, so just a moment. I need to get some. My deli paper seems to have moved almost beyond my reach. There we go. Need a couple of these. Okay. So first, you need a thin layer of black paint. Uh oh, hold on. And remember, oh, I'm going to have to use a wet, wet baby wipe because I got paper shreds all over my. Um, remember when you're using black? That on the jelly plate never takes as much black as you think it's going to. You can always use a little less black. I'm going to have two separate roll-off papers, one here for my black and then one that's going to be for my other colors just so that they don't keep infecting my black. Hi, Lori. I'm try 
trying to do some image transfers. All right, my sprayer definitely needs a soak in some Murphy's oil soap. My brayer has crusty bits. <sighs> One moment, please. There. Yes, of course you can tweet me. Go ahead. I will look at my iPad. And I only need to make sure I put enough black on to make an area as big as he is. Now, how long do you leave them sitting on the black, Norma? Have you found that leaving them sitting on the black longer makes a difference? Hmm, that's weird. Got that weird message. I know. So anyway, sorry. Oh, you want the frog as well? Okay, Joycey. I will give you the frog as well. Um, the frog is in this magazine, I think. There's a larger picture of it. Here it is. She wants this one too. I've got Dee Dee's ready to go. I'm not sure if I've got Joyce's ready to go yet or not. So I hope to get Dee Dee's package out tomorrow. All right. All right. Oh. Okay. Hold on. Pulling it up pretty quickly, and now it's probably too late, but we'll see. Oh, no. I got distracted. Probably going to pull everything up. And it is. Darn it. I left it too long. Let's blame it on Joyce. I'm just kidding. I'm going to blame it on Joycey. Oh, I got distracted. I'm just going to do a quick... It may have given me more than... you. Usually you can see it. Usually you know that whether you got it or not. But it's dry. I've got my... Uh, unplugged my heat gun, plugged in my hair dryer so I can use the cool air. Okay. It's okay. I'll use a little paint to pull up this black anyway. We'll see what we got. I'll just do it on the uh, 
I'm just going to use a little peach color here. Oh, yeah, Jean, that's not going to do much good. Now, these are my old, <laughs> trying to use up old paints. I have to buy some new. I did buy new yellow. What did I do with that? Hmm. I think I opened it in the living room. It's probably still in there. That's pretty translucent. Wow. Not much pigment in that. It's okay. I'm going to pick it up with this. Nah. I left it way too long. Okay, hold on. Probably wouldn't have worked great anyway because, all right, what did I, I don't know what I did with my baby wipe. I had one. Oh, right. I, all right. Baby wiper off. Let's try one of these lady fashion models that I detest because they should likely work. Oh, that's nice, Lori. It's nice to know there are still some nice people in the world. All right, let's try these. Let's try this one first. I've got my paper ready for picking it up. All right, a little black. Oh. Uh -oh. All right, so I'm just going to put it down with a quick little rub, pull it up. Aha, there we go. We're going to get a good one on this one. You can see your face. I might have a bit of a blob on her there. Not sure what that is. So I might get a baby wipe here. I think I'm going to just try and Hey, Joycey, I will get you the uh, I'm sorry, this is going to be louder than my... I don't know how much the microphone is canceling this out. Probably not as much as the 
It's way noisier than my um, heat gun. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. So now I want some light colors and or transparent colors. Or no, not transparent. Okay, I'm going to do gold and I'm going to pick it up with gold and something orangey. Can't see the color of it. Yellow ochre. Oh, see, part of our part of our rent is um They shovel our walkway and clear the parking lot. Of course, I don't know. Perhaps you're in a house, Monique, and that might be why. And I put down way too much, so I'm going to have to pick some of this up because this is never going to pick up the lift. Way too much paint. So you have to put down a, a thin layer of this color too, like you normally would for a cleanup print. So I'm just going in and spreading and lifting some of that so that it's <sighs> try and blend it a little bit. Oh, really? And they don't do it? Well, then I would call your ombudsman. I don't know if you guys have ombudsman or not. In Canada, we have ombudsmen, and they are kind of the lookout. They keep a lookout on government and not just government, but uh, businesses to make sure things are being done properly. Okay, this is thin paper, so I'm getting a little bit of... All right, not bad. Not too bad. I got a little icky extra there. But she came through not bad for the first one. I knew I had a little extra... There for some reason. No worries, Jillian. Crochet away. So, not bad. Good start. Good start. Let's put her over there. Let's just do a little bit of a wipe up here. So we can start on a new one. I don't always wipe up, but since I'm doing certain projects, I have to start with a clean plate or as clean as possible to get a good result. 
I am going to wipe it up. Okay. Hello, Dr. Dot. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, it is good for, you know, a journal page or whatever. All right, let's see this one. Let's see what this one gets us. Oh, my, now I remember why I had my tubes of paint in the plastic bins with dividers in them. I couldn't get all my paint in when I did it that way, but just having my paints in the cart, they keep tipping over and it's driving me crazy. So now I know why I did it the other way. Hey, Chili. Too much blotching. I had too much black on. Too much black. I knew that. So I'm going to let it sit a little longer. Just refilled my baby wipe container. Good thing. Dee Dee was saying how she could go through a whole container in a week. I just might go through this whole container in one project. Yeah, it's really cool, Joyce. It's really cool. Actually... Sunset Carol and I were doing a hangout once. Just the two of us were there for some reason. I don't know why. Just the two of us were there. But um, I can see your nose. But I'm not going to get too much definition here. But we'll see. There, there was a lot of black on this side of the image I probably should have like cut her face out um and we kind of discovered this by accident once this was a few years ago before anyone was doing it on jelly plate and then I forgot about it and then it started people started doing it, it was all the rage
Yeah, I know. I was thinking the same thing, Sophia. All right, I'm going to try this phthalo green. And aqua green. I think I'm going to do it this way. You just need enough. Oh, that's probably too much. I can. <sighs> much light. Try and get some of that off. Well, it's an interesting page, but now I don't even see her nose. And I saw it when it was just, oh, yeah, there, okay, there she is. There's her nose, her mouth. Yeah, that one didn't come out very well. It's a cool background, though. It's still usable as a background, even though that one didn't work. See, there was too much black. Too much black in that picture. Too much dark. I should have cut around her face and then not used as much black. I knew I had too much black on there. So these are the lessons you learn as you're trying to make it work. should work really well. Hey, Dee Dee. Hey, Jan. Hi, Kathy. Hello, hello. I am doing some jelly transfers. So far, one out of the three worked okay. This one worked okay. This was my first try. Well, my second try. Joycey ruined my first try. Ha, <laughs> ha. 
She distracted me and I left the image on too long. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me. That's rude to... Uh... All right, this time I'm going to do... This time I'm going to do a dioxazine purple and a brilliant purple as my pickup colors. Black, of course, goes down first. Oops, that black got messed up. All right. All right, so easy on the black, Jean. Easy on the black. Better to put too little down and need to add more than to have too much. See, you go from one to the other. That should be good. So a nice light layer of black, little rub, not too long, because you don't want this paper to Oh, this one's going to be good. Look at that. Look at that. So this one's going to be good. Don't want to clean up some of the black. It's actually turned out pretty good. I think I don't want a straight edge there, so I think I'm just going to wrap it around like that. All right, so I'm going to dry this. Remember, hair dryer on cold setting. My hair dryer has a button here. Yeah, exactly. If you have your good clear image here with your black, then you're going to have a good pull. You should have a good pull. All right. So I'm not going to do too much dark. So remember, not too much of this, these colors either. Just enough to wet that black and pull it up. I'm going to put a little bit of light down here because that dioxazine is just a little bit too dark. And I need more down there. So I'm going to try and Give it a little mix there. So it'll kind of have a mottled look. It'll still have some dark and some light, but not quite as dark. A 
All right. So I'm just using old, it's not cardstock. It's just, it was actually scrapbook paper I got at Costco when I first started scrapping book. Scrap, scrap it. Scrapbooking. So I'm just using the other side. That way, if I don't like the other side, I can still use this side for a scrap page if I want or whatever. Because you get a, it's a different type of image. Of course, you can just use the magazine image. But this is like creating a, a kind of a, a background. Hey, Joan. Oh, no, no, you have a package on your porch. But she might be at work, Dee Dee. Or maybe she works at home. I don't know if she has an office or she works at home. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, Gail, so see how different this image is than... If I had used the magazine image, I've created a whole different kind of style, right? Hey, thanks, Beth. Thanks, Judy. Thanks, Mandy. Woohoo! Yes, Denise. I finally got it going. Yep, that's my best so far. All right, I want to do the books. I'm dying to do the books. Don't know if there's enough contrast, but we're going to find out. Okay, so I definitely don't need as much black on these. I'm hoping the gold is going to be enough of a contrast the ink. That's what I'm hoping. See how far that black goes? I mean, I hardly put any down. And I've got more than enough. Trying to pick up the excess black around the outside. And oh, looks like there's an image. I may not have had enough black on this one. Well, we'll see. Hey, LA. I know, Jan, right? I've at least gotten rid of painty finger panic attacks. I'm going to go back to my yellow ochre. And this time I'm going to do my metallic red with it and see what happens. Don't need much. Thank you. 
too much red. Don't think I put enough yellow ochre down. And now there may be too much. We'll see. Uh, too much too much red on this side but you can kind of see it kind of turned out can't really tell you can tell their books there i had too much red here but that's okay when you have left too much left here you know that You use too much paint. Let's see if I can get it picked up. <laughs> Got a nice print of the book there. I just had too much paint in that spot. Okay. Yep, nice background. Something's in the way of this closing. What's in the way of this closing? Okay. All right. What is next? Oh, I want to try this this little this little guy here. Um, I think I'm going to do him though. I'm actually going to put him on a piece of deli paper. Let's see what happens here. You need to clean off the jelly plate first. I'm gonna try something for him. I'm gonna try something different. I'm going to try Payne's Gray. And then I'm going to pick him up with this light blue permanent. Okay, so I'm going to try Payne's Gray instead of the black. So I'm going to try Payne's Gray as my dark. And this. This is Academy by Grimbacher, so it's, uh, but it's a little thicker than Liquitex Basics. It's still student grade, but it's still, a, it's a step up from the, I think it is anyway. So I'm going to use even less, and he's small. So, were you going to say Payne's Gray? That's scary that we're thinking alike, Joycey. Very scary. And, of course, I got the idea because that's kind of the colors the original is. So let's see if it, the Payne's Gray should be dark enough.
Uh oh, where did my oh my garbage bag fell off the floor. This tang that grocery bag fell off the corners of the drawer. Close it. So let's dry that. to get out of Walmart without buying any chocolate. Now you guys are talking chocolate and making me really want it. Bad people. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Um, I don't know if that can go back in the bottle or not, but it has to come off the page because it's like way too much. <sighs> Thanks a lot, Blue. Just came rushing out. So excited to be going down on the page. I know, this is a translucent color, so don't panic. Hi, Carl. With Play-Doh? Yes, uh, yes. Transferring images onto uh, clay and Play-Doh, yeah. I get a drink of there look he worked out like really well Very cool indigenous person. I can put something else on that page as well. Oh, I want to try this. I really want to get this little duck. Or is it a goose or a duck? No, it's a stork of some kind. Don't know my birds. No idea, but he's cute. Some kind of stork, because he's got long neck and long legs. A flamingo in disguise. Heron? Yeah, oh, thanks, Joan. I knew that. Heron, Heron, Heron. Oh, yeah, I don't like these bags as much as the other ones. They don't stay on as nicely. Okay. All 
All right. Now I do have reusable bags for groceries, so they don't take five. Mm -hmm. Every now and then mm -hmm. when I go for a mm -hmm. large mm -hmm. grocery order, I don't mm -hmm. take my bags on purpose and I get plastic mm -hmm. because at least they get reused. They don't just go into recycling. I use them as my garbage bags in my craft room here. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. like, why should I buy plastic bags when I can just use reuse grocery bags right no eileen's here somewhere probably doing something eileen's in the background she said hello there a while ago all right i think i'm going to use the Payne's gray on this one too and i'm going to use um hmm I think I want to do <sighs> Hmm. What colors? A bright green. These two greens. Yeah. So I'm going to use green, yellow, and light green as my pickup colors. And Payne's Gray as my image pickup. It's a bigger page. So let's see if that's enough. There's Eileen, see? The original pictures I'm tossing because they just have black on them or, yeah. So I'd, no, I don't collage with them because they have black basically hiding most of them. So no, I don't collage with them. I just toss them. Oh, I may have left him on too long. Oh, no, he's there. See, there's, like, he's still kind of there, but, yeah, no. I'm not going to keep that. I don't do that much collage to keep that. I'll be lucky enough to use these as backgrounds. Most of them I might give away. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Debbie. The nice, uh, grungy. Oh, Eileen. Huh. Eileen. I know. You don't really like the jelly plate, but, but I do. 
This must be all gooped up. Yeah, this is kind of goopy. That's all right. I'll get it off. I'll use it anyway. Goopy or not, I will use it. some image transfers using jelly plate and magazine images got a couple of good ones so far a couple of not as good ones but we'll see how this one turns out Yeah, that light green didn't spread very well because it's too thick and gross. So that's another color I'm going to have to replace my yellow green or something. Hey, and hello. I'm not sure what your name is. It's. I'm not sure if it's Korean or Japanese or Taiwanese. I'm not sure if you have an English name you would like us to call you by, but it's nice to have you here. Oh, you're Linda, not Rick. Okay, hey, Linda. Korean. Ah, excellent. Korean. Well, welcome, welcome. Oh, he turned out kind of cool. I'm going to try some music because print will turn out correct when you're doing this technique. When you're doing a regular transfer onto a page, like if you do use um, matte medium or whatever, you can't do print because, well, you can, but it turns out backwards. But this technique, it doesn't turn out backwards. It goes backwards onto your plate, but then when you transfer it back onto the paper, it turns it back the correct way. Oh, it translates to winner. Oh, cool. So that's kind of cool. You can even see the details of the the foliage in behind because there was enough of a of a in some places there. You can tell he's standing in front of leaves and stuff. Cool, huh? <coughs> Hi Katrina. Mine too, Juju. Well. So that's one, two, three, three that worked out really well. The first one worked out pretty good. All right, I'm going to try. One moment. I've got a piece of, this is, it's not glossy, so I'm not sure how well it's going to work from this, but we'll see. I want to try and see if, if, uh, this works. I'm really, you know what? I'm really liking how this works compared to the artist loft for the first. I don't, I don't know if it's just this paint. 
but I'm going to continue with the Payne's Gray because I'm really liking how it's working out. And then for the pickup, oh, I know what I'm going to do for the pickup. I'm going to do See, I'm going to do gold and copper for the pickup. There's my copper. Gold and copper for the pickup. These are my Pebio, Pebio Dyna iridescent. Um, iridescent precious gold so it's a little more um not quite as green as an antique gold but it's not as shiny as just their gold i have their gold too but i like the precious gold and their iridescent copper so i'm going to use that as the pickup all righty hey lisa This is a Mozart Sonata. I don't know which one because it's just torn. It's torn out of the book. So I really don't know which ones it is. I think I need a little bit more. I think I'm controlling the amount of paint out of the tube from this uh, Grumbacher Better 2, which helps, is helping. Okay, I better get my paper on here or it's going to dry on me. Jamie, nice to see you. CB was very lucky. She had a recent get together with Jamie. I don't know if this is the right kind of ink, if this is going to work or not at all. It's not. It's not going to work. Okay, so it will not work with matte laser printed images. All right, just so you all know, it would. These, these books are like laser printed, right? So it will not work with laser printed images. Now you all know. So shiny is important for the resist. So... Good to know. Mm. I'm willing to be the crash test dummy for this. See what works, what doesn't. And I'm cleaning between so that I'd, oh man, you guys wouldn't believe the mess. I had to pour on the, um alcohol and let it sit and work its way through the paint that was on this i didn't do the other side that's why you're still seeing paint but this side had a thick layer that wouldn't come up at all because it was just too much crusty bits on it so i had to pour the now you've sent alcohol on let it sit a little bit yeah, I know. I spent a weekend at her craft table. She was so kind. She hardly complained when I kept encroaching on her space at the table. 
she and Happy Diane and I. That was a fun weekend. Okay, I still want to do one where I want to pick up those. So maybe I should do him and pick him up with the. I'll leave the. Uh, I'll leave the. I'll leave the phone on for now. I can always uh <laughs> Jamie. If I covered it with matte medium and then let it dry? Um it probably would, Denise. It might. Um, because then the paint would pull up the matte medium and then the, and the matte medium would pull the ink off. Not sure though. It does work in a regular transfer, you know, using gel medium and transferring directly onto your page. I was just thinking it would be cool if it worked in this because then your music would turn out back the right way. I can try that with some printed text, a printed text page or the other side of that music page, although I kind of crumpled it up. I've got more, I'm not getting up to get more music because it's over on the other side of the room and I'm too lazy. And I might have too much, might have too much paint. Oops, put them on there crooked. Oh well, it's all right, that doesn't matter. No, I was uh, at an art table in Austin with Jamie, the very first retreat five years ago. Okay, I think this might work. I'm going to see. I think I can see it. Not quite as good as that curl, but I can see. I can see him. I can see the snake. Let's dry this. Hey, Miriam. Yeah, and the phone. Whatever you do, don't use your heat gun on your jelly plate or even hair dryer on hot. Only if your hair dryer has a cold setting. All right, so I want to pull this up using gold and copper. So I'm going to use a little gold there, a little gold there, and a little copper in the middle.
No, Katrina, you can use um, any uh, acrylic paint. Any acrylic paint that you want. I also have been known to use, oh, yeah, when I'm done, I want to use some, because I have not yet tried the um, oxides on my jelly plate. I really like how the regular distress inks are on my jelly plate. So I want to try the oxides. Interesting. I think the, um, it's kind of interesting, but the metallic sheen of it seems to interfere a little bit with the image. I prefer just the regular paints for the pickup, I think. Well, it's a way to make a print. This is, you can see how flexible it is. It's soft. Um, so it gives you a, a different kind of look on your, on your paper. Like if I, if I could probably do a similar process on glass that might work or on a hard plastic, but it's kind of a textural thing that you do. Um, I think, well, I mean, it's, it's hard to tell because it could be just this image, Joyce. It could be just this image. I just think that the metallic takes away from... The transfer of the image, if you know what I mean. Yeah, definitely. The, the ink makes a big difference. The amount of paint you use makes a big difference. Um, the more con like there has to be lights and darks in your image i want to see if this <clears throat> i'm not sure there's going to be enough of a contrast here <clears throat> actually think I think I'm just gonna try and pick up with the light blue on this one so I'm gonna use the Payne's gray and light blue to pick up Let's see if it works aha <laughs> Joyce because you don't notice the snake yeah I kind of understand that for sure so I don't need as big a space so I need to be careful with how much Payne's gray I put on. Uh, 
Um, <clears throat> Katrina, I have on my channel in my playlist, <clears throat> if you go under Jelly Plate, I'm pretty sure I have a playlist of Jelly Plate. I have a um, Mono Printing 101. I think there's four, five parts. And um, I go right from very basic jelly printing to some more advanced techniques. And that, uh, if you go in and watch those, they're they're not long because I did did not do them live. They're not live videos. They're ones I recorded. So if you go in and and have a look at those, Katrina. It'll kind of show you all the different things that your jelly plate can jelly plate can do. <clears throat> exactly, you're making your own backgrounds and everything. That's right. You can use the cheap craft paints. Most definitely, that's what I started with before I did anything with the Liquitex or. I bought this Grumbacher because Liquitex didn't seem to have a Payne's Gray the day, not the day I was there anyway. Oh, I may have waited too long. I did. I waited too long and there's not enough of a, there's not enough of a contrast. So. I'm just going to clear that away and take that as a loss not waste the paint but I do want to do this one there's enough contrast in this one I know it may have worked if I left it on a little shorter time <clears throat> Can I reuse the picture? No, because now there's paint on it. Now there's paint on it. It works as a resist because your darker inks. Um, allow the paper to resist absorbing the ink. So when I put this Payne's gray or black down, you have to have your first one has to be a nice dark color. So that's why I'm using either black or Payne's gray. So when I put this Payne's gray down, okay, this these darker inks, the darker the ink is, the more resistant it is to um, the paper absorbing any of the Payne's gray or black that I put down. So where it's lighter on his skin, his jeans, the totem pole, his face, in those areas, the um, pain, the paper is going to absorb the dark paint. So it's going to leave an empty jelly plate. Here where there's darker leaves and his dark hair, it's going to not allow the paper to absorb it as quickly. Now that's why if you leave it too long, the paper will still absorb your paint, but it absorbs at a slower rate with your darker inks, all right? So even though this is lighter green, it's not as light as the totem pole. So I should still get some resist, but it's not going to be as much of a resist as these darker. So that's why you need, Hey, Colleen. Welcome, welcome. Did your niece like your curd, Colleen? It ended up looking cute.
Econ, or if you have earbuds, watch out. I'm going to use this light blue again. <clears throat> and I'm just going to waste that because there's two. I've got enough with just the one blob, not the two. Don't need the two, that's for sure. I think I'm going to put this one on same paper as this guy. Oh, I didn't watch The Wanderlust yet. Oh, yesterday I watched um, Curiosity Inc. all day long. I think I've watched all of his videos, or close to. Hey, Sharon. <clears throat> You're welcome, Debbie. There we go. He worked. These two would work kind of nice together. They're different. Well, this is more of a... But they were still, they're both indigenous people, so they might work together. Very cool. This guy is hugging a baby something or the other. Something with a pretty long beak. You know what I would love to get? I'm going to go through just a moment. <clears throat> Now that one will work better because it's got the much lighter and then the dark contrast and lighter there. That one would work much better. I might try that. Um, I was going to see if there were any good like words. Probably not in this one. Well, except for the word thorough. I don't think I would ever use that. Let's look in the... Let very little success transferring. Well... Are you using like fashion magazines? Try less black, less of your black color because you really, you should be able to see through the black and see through your plate. It takes a, like a lot less than you really think in the end.
It's another heron. I want to do like But I would be cool. I don't know why. I'm just kind of thinking I want, I don't know, like a word or something. This one's driving me crazy because it's, uh, the backs of these are all pretty good for, like, background pages because they're all uh, ads and stuff. <laughs> Try this one. At least it's flat. I wonder if that word, that adventure, that word adventure might work. Hmm. Oh, or the word, no, that's probably not enough. Oh, how cool would that be? Hmm. I have to try that guy. Next. I wish that wasn't right up into it. I would use do that word next. All right, I'm going to do it anyway. All right, bye, Juju. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Eileen, maybe to your doctor's, your next doctor's appointment. Bring your pair of scissors and your purse to your next doctor's appointment. a good one i might do both of these get a grip oh that would be good for a page wouldn't it and there's nothing good on the other side either so <laughs> I'll do these both on the same one and then they can cut out. That's for Eileen. Get a grip. <laughs> Hello, it's sticking to my jelly plate already. I almost cut that G off. It's close. It's close. <sighs> Oops, sorry. All right, I think I need to. Wow, really, Judy? Holy samole. That's good. Okay. 
I think I'm going to print these on deli paper because then they're nice to collage, nicer for collage. Although this paper is fairly thin, it's nice to have um, words. And what am I going to pick them up with? Um, hmm. I want to pick them up with something that's kind of, I'm just going to pick them up, I think, with, uh, I think I'm just going to pick them up with, with uh, unbleached titanium. Um, just so they're more readily, I can use them on any page then. It just has to be a good contrast with whatever your initial color is. So your initial color has to be dark. And then you pick up ones, the lighter they are, the better you're going to be able to see your image. So very little, Colleen. Very, very little. Has to, you have to kind of almost be able to see through it. You have to really think, oh, I don't have enough on at all. Works best. Uh oh. Oh, I think it turned out. All right. All right, hair dryer, where'd you go? There you are. All right, I have a footstool beside me here. That, oh, all right. Now my hair dryer is, oh, okay. Okay, heat gun. Oh, I need to get a new brayer. I need to get a larger one. And I need to soak this one. Although this one's not too bad, but it's nice to have a larger one. My larger ones went... They got so... Messed up, they wouldn't even... Um, Hey, Shelly. So, thanks to, for the little advice from Norma. I got some better. Last time I tried this, one worked, and I think like two or three didn't. So I gave up. This time I've got more working. Look at that. How cool is that? I love doing words. Words I'll use more than I'll use the images. And I love it. I love it. Love it. It does. It does takes uh i like that i like words words are good and i like i would use that before i would use a sticker
this. I want to try this. No idea how that worked, but anyway, I want to do this guy. I'm gonna take this word off. And I don't need all of this. Grasshopper! I don't like bugs, but he's kind of cool. He's good. So I think he has to be picked up with green and yellow. You know what I'm going to try? I'm going to pick him up with my green. And I'm going to see if I can somehow, I'm going to try and place the gold where he is kind of on the image. So. I'm going to go from gold down. We'll see. I think, uh, I think I'm going to do just the green. I think I'm going to do just the green, not the green and the gold. All right. So first goes down. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah. Way too much. And I need a baby wipe down here. Oh, Lena, she's been waiting longer than a week for me to get my, I'm going to work, I'm going to do that tonight. So tomorrow I'm going to go out, mail DD's. Dee got DD's Dee ready to go, so I'm going to get Joyce's ready to go tonight too. Your address hasn't changed, right, Joycey? I assume, pretty sure it hasn't. I've got more paint down than I need here. I think I had too much black. Or Payne's gray. It's Payne's gray. Hair dryer.
I don't know if this is going to work. I think there's too much. Oh, I'm getting tired. Uh, there may not be too much. Yeah, I don't think it dried enough. Uh, because it was more than... I should have checked it. This is not going to work. I don't think. So I'm going to do it on deli paper. Might pick up better with the thin deli paper. So let's see. Hey, I would do it in watercolor and tell him it's acrylic. He won't know the difference, Lena. You know what I'm going to do? Yeah, there was too much dark on it for the little bug to show up. I used too much. Poor little grasshopper. Yeah, that didn't work out. All I got is wrinkles. Well, all right. Can't win them all. There wasn't enough contrast in that picture. Lesson learned. And I used too much dark. Oh, I know, Judy. Moment of silence, yes. Poor grasshopper. All right. Oops, sorry. My light hit my light. Ooh. It's probably not enough color contrast. Not enough dark ink in that. Ooh, wait a minute. Ooh. That would be cool. This would be cool. The eyes from the back of the grasshopper. Okay, I will try that. 
but it's, I think it's too much dark, but. Oh, let me do this first, because I think this would be a cool image on a page. And what will I pick it up with? going to pick it up with um, all right, this and what will go well with it. I don't know if I have a color that will work well with this. Maybe just my, okay, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to pick them up with, hey, Debbie, oh, I'm glad you're feeling better. Were you off work all last week, Debbie? So this is Academy Pains gray. I'm doing some image transfers, Debbie. Got some cool ones so far. I'll show them again at the end. The ones that were successful. Let's dry it. Make sure I get it dry enough this time. Keep going. Bottom ones look better than the top. We'll see. Oh, yay, Eileen. I have to wait till I'm not sure exactly when my, um, well, I know that the, um, quill. Foil quill. It. I know it's February, but I don't know if it's beginning of February or end of February. So I told her to wait with the oxide sprays until it comes in so it can go in one package. And then I only have to pay the shipping once. Getting it from the lady who travels but she did, we're not having uh, any winter crops because the lady who uh, organizes them goes to Florida for the winter. So I meant to pur put purple down with that. Totally forgot. Oh, well. I had too much. You can see the huge difference. I had too much black down. Didn't get any definition of their faces down there. Oh, well. 
It's interesting. All right, I think I'm going to stop because I'm getting tired. And so my words turned out really cool. Next, and get a grip. That get a grip was just for Eileen. And then these two worked out well. An Indigenous Canadian there. And an Indigenous Canadian with a totem pole. This one sort of turned out, but not really. There's a guy, he has a snake around his neck. Cell phone, a uh, real old 80s cell phone in his hand. This guy, tur the heron turned out really cool. Yeah, thanks, Beth. These are the books. They turned out, oh, wait, no, I think they were this way. Those books turned out kind of interesting. A nice texture for a background. She turned out really great. It wasn't Marilyn Monroe, but here it looks like Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> With dark hair. Grand Falls. Hey, Anne, I'm in Moncton. Nice to see you. I stream Mondays at 4 and Thursdays at 1 Eastern. So that's 5 and 2 hour time, Anne. Nice to see you. Woohoo, another New Brunswicker. And then this was my first one. She turned out okay. Had a little bit too much. Um, so it kind of interfered with her face a little bit. But, you know, you can always put this much of her on a page and as part of a page or whatever. Oh, the yellow was on the left? Oh, okay. That's how I held it up, I think. Pretty sure that's how I held it up. And then this one was a fail, but I still ended up with a cool textured. The image didn't turn out at all, but I ended up with a cool textured background. So anyway, that is that for now. And um, I'm going to say so long. Thanks for coming.